TIFU by sending a poorly thought out snap and ruining my friendship. I have no who I'll call, Beth, for around two years now. I met her at school and we've just been friends. I tried to make moves early on but after getting shut down we decided to keep it as just friends. Anyways. Onto the story. Following the gym. I decide to head to Chick-fil-A and get some food with one of other friends, Jerry. While I'm there I've been sending snaps to Beth. Nothing crazy just kind of fun. Joking around type stuff. Until I send a goofy snap that of Jerry where I say, first date kinda nervous right finger pleading face left finger, she responds. Saying, me and my date are just chilling. She was with her dog. Apparently my brain decided to have a helmet fire because I responded with, I think your date would be better off with me. What I was trying to say was that I wanted her dog. I know, kinda dumb, but whatever. What I'm assuming she took that as is that we should be dating. Which is not what I meant. After all of that, I have now been blocked on all socials and my number and I'm assuming that's the end of that. Either she really cares about her dog or I'm just an idiot for not thinking of the double meaning. Behind what I said, I guess I should think more carefully about the implications of what I send Skull. TL. DR told a girl who sent a snap of her dog saying, me and my date are just chilling, that, her date, would be better off with me. I wanted the dog. She did not see it that way. You've been friends with her for two years and she blocks you for that? There has to be more to this story. If that's all it took to block you, she was just waiting for a reason to do it. If she blocked you without further dialogue, then your life is better without her my friend. What is it with this blocking people without talking things through stuff? So based off of your side of the story alone it's a huge overreaction on her part. I understood what you meant in that snap. Realistically it seems like you've been making comments, jokes, etc frequently and she just had enough. If the undertone of the friendship is always that she doesn't want any to date you it's exhausting. And nerve-wracking for the girl. Friends that ghost were never friends to start with. Real friends talk things through. Sounds like the dog would be the better date. Lol. I'm going to go out on a limb and say there are probably a lot of missed social cues. Hate to break it to you, you were not friends. Friends don't ghost each other over a snap. I understood you perfectly. Not sure what she thought. One question would shift this issue in her favor. Is her dog a Dalmatian? And do you have a coat made of Dalmatians? Because then I would understand her reaction. First thoughts on reading the title. He sent her a dick pic. Didn't he? Reading further. Oh good. That's not too bad. Seems like an overreaction on another person end. A simple, we should not be dating, or, that's my dog, would have been sufficient. Are y'all 12? Lol. That was rough. Yeah. If someone sent me that I would not assume they meant my dog. Unless they immediately sent, the dog, after. My date is the guy I'm with. While she seems to have jumped to an extreme reaction. I'm guessing this is because this isn't the first thing. And it was just the final straw. Maybe she never said anything. And should have talked through it with you before it got to this point. Maybe she did and this happened and that was it. I don't know. But. I'm really guessing this was just her final straw. She might calm down and you can then clarify and talk about why that was the thing that made her ghost your friendship. Never say never. I had the same thing happen. I kept telling this girl. Hey. We're adults. You need to stop doing this. I mean it. This is my boundary. Not cool. Seriously, stop doing that. Etc. And that was it. She kept doing it. Telling me, that's just how girls are. 
Quote, I'd already talked to her about her behavior. So, I just walked away. She went around telling everyone how I'd hurt her, and how she didn't understand why I didn't want to be her friend anymore. I'm not saying your friend spelled it out for you. I'm just saying maybe there was some stuff building up, and she just needed to step away. What else would you have possibly meant? Not your foo, she obviously assumed and ran with it. You guys were never friends to begin with. Sounds like you just wanted to be around her in case you got lucky. We decided to keep it as just friends no, she decided that lmao. If this situation played out exactly like that. I think you've probably been hitting on her a whole lot more than you clued us in on and that was. Just a final straw of being hit on. I've had guy friends like that where you try to politely ignore it because you both talked about it. And you both figured out it's not going to work but they still hit on you. And eventually you got to ghost them if they don't respect you if you don't want to actually have. That talk of, dude this is weird. Stop. The reason I'm saying it like this is I'm worried that you're kind of trying to mitigate your actions here with the skull emoji. That's likely not a situation where you did one thing and she blew up over it. It's likely you chose to ignore times you made her uncomfortable and she's over letting you do that. It's very similar to how basically no living woman would actually say I have a boyfriend right out. The gate to a stranger. You don't say that to your classmate who texts you randomly you've done that after that classmate has hit on you and you've tried to politely ignore it and they don't take the hint. Sounds like you avoided some unnecessary drama my friend, well done. You were referring to her, dating her dog. This story makes no sense. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.